What's up guys hope you're doing good in this video i'm going to show you how to create the split screen effect right inside of adobe premiere without using any plugin or any preset so here i have a three different clips i am downloaded it from inveto you can also get the link in the description below so as you can see we have a three different clips so we have to go to the effects control and just select your first footage and make a scale to 50 because I want to make it a three split screen effect. So just go to the second clip and also change the scale to 50. So now we have a third clip, don't change anything. So we just unhide this third clip and just select your first clip and make it position nice. You can also make it right or left, it's actually your choice. So I am just positionize it. <laughs> Here you go, uh, our positioning is just ready. So now we are just working our last clip. So now as you can see, we just write a little bit. As you can see, our split screen is just ready. You just need to make a plan how much screens you want in a frame and you just change according to your requirements. Now we need a border around our different footages. So for that, you just need to go with a pen tool and select the area where you want a border. So I'm just want a uh, some a uh, vertical line right that so now in uh, effects control i just got a shape just categorize it and now i got a stroke just change it to 15 12 something else so 12 is really good for me so now i'm just change our graphic layer like that now select the pen tool again and select this area where i want yeah that's good and now change it to all that's good and as you can see our split screen is just ready within a few seconds we don't need any template or any preset for that it's just a simple method to do that so before moving further with this video let me introduce you our today's sponsor is mini tool movie maker so mini tool is actually a free video editing software for a beginner or vlogger so if you just start up your career in a video editing then mini tool it just help you a lot to make your video more easily they actually give you a simple tools that actually help you to make your video more realistic and just a time saving process here is the interface of mini tool movie maker as you can see the interface of software is really simple and clean everything is categorized as you can see the first option is media in a media you can just drag and drop your media and just start up your work they can also give you some free music right here you can also import your music and you can also download some video or music from youtube so the second option they are providing you is transitions they are providing some really cool transitions right here so if you are working on a small project or you're just a beginner then this transitions really good for you they can also provide you some effects right here you can also choose an instagram effects right here motion blur and there are a lot of them effects right here you can also add a custom text in the mini tool you can also select one of the best tools for you and you can just drag and drop and you're done within a few seconds and the other option they are providing is motion like if you are just dropping your footage let me show you and now um, if i apply this one of the effect as you can see they are just moving my footage like that so it's actually the good motion effects they are putting in a mini tool and the last option they are providing is elements they are putting some more elements you can be choose whatever you want so overall mini tool is one of the best video editing free software for a beginner so if you just start up your career then i really recommend you this software link in the description below must check it out now i will show you how to create this effect so as you can see we have a three different clips right here all we have to do just go to effects and search radial wipe and now just drag it to your first clip where you want to make it main just drag it drop it on two times now just go to the effects control and here we got some properties so as you can see so the first radial vibe is just here so we just need to change this transition completion is changed to 50 and now change the start angle to 120 
Now just go to the second radial wipe and change it to transition completion to 50 as well and change the stutter angle to minus 65 and just change the value according to your requirements. So yeah, that's, that's actually good for me. So now we just need to go to our second footage and change the scale to 70. Here you go and just positionize it. So now change the second footage and change its scale to 78. It is actually perfect value for my second footage. So once you satisfy with the values, so here is the last results we got. So as you can see, it is the perfect split screen we got here. We got the three different frames in our one frames. So you can also create the border for a uh, more realistic. So we can also use the pen tool for that. Just create a dot right here and dot here as well. So we can previously added a stroke of 12%. So it's actually automatically added so that's actually perfect so we use a pen tool again and change its value so here is our final result we got that's actually pretty fine you can also create your videos as a split screen within a few seconds without using any plugin or any preset so yeah it is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you need any help about mini tool or you have any idea about a new video please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one take care